are heading into the airport. Kat just drove us here. Thank you! So excited! So Mackenzie's bag was oversized, so we're gonna go find the oversized drop-off counter. Starting things off, all right. We've spent our entire 20s being best friends. We survived university together, traveled together, moved to a foreign country together, survived long distances apart, and made it back together during a global pandemic. All while making each other laugh along the way. If we've learned one thing in our 20s, it's that having amazing friendships is everything. And we want to say bon voyage to this decade in an unforgettable way. So, since we've been besties for the last 10 years, over the next 10 months, we're going to try and finish visiting 30 countries before our 30th birthdays. And we couldn't do it without bringing you along. We're going to document the whole process, so grab your bestie and get ready for an amazing adventure. We are going to find the airport lounges, and we've never been in an airport lounge, so this is going to be bougie and fun. Arrivals transfer level. Yeah, no. I think this is a Plaza Premium. Here it is, KLM Crown. So you may be wondering how we ended up here in the Crown Lounge. Well, last year I worked with KLM, and today we are taking our very first business class flight. So of course we had to stop by the airport lounge and get the full experience. The most random assortment of food, some spring rolls, some potato salad because it kind of looks good, some pita with hummus, and a double chocolate cookie. And then I got an apple for health, carrot cake, also healthy, chips and guacamole, and then some chicken and veggies, and a stiff drink. Came in. I got some peri peri chicken, well known, and some guac. And I'm going back for a Bailey's with co a coffee with Bailey's, not a Bailey's with coffee. I mean, tell the truth. <laughs> Yay for us for doing this. Also, cheers to 11 and a half years, years of friendship. friendship. That's a long time. Thanks for not being sick of me yet. So far, this lounge experience has been lovely. The food has been so good. They keep putting out more and it's gotten busier and busier. So I'm really glad that we showed up with enough time. Wow, look at this. We're coming in for round two. So we just finished in the lounge. We're heading towards our gate. Jamin is just grabbing a little gum for the flight. And that was lovely. What a calming and relaxing way to come to the airport. Now we're back down here. I'm like, there's so much going on. The Toronto Pearson Airport is very hard to find a place to fill your water bottle. That's actually true. Jamin filled his in the lounge and we were too embarrassed to use up the whole water jug. So now we're struggling to find somewhere to fill it up. That was maybe a flop on our end. Oh yes, by the bathrooms. I've probably checked it a thousand times. If I have my passport, has it moved? No. Am I panicked about it? Do I feel stressed? Yes, it's just part of the flying journey. As I walked by the line and I heard multiple different languages, I was like, we're going to Europe, baby. We're going to Europe, baby. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, we're in premium comfort. So, comes with a little pillow and a full blanket, which I wasn't really expecting, but this is gonna be cozy to sleep with tonight. And my favorite part, an amenity kit. Look at how beautiful this looks. Let's see what's inside. Oh my God, and the headphones. Branded, noise cancellation. Wow. A little candy or something. A little mint of some kind, we'll have to figure that out. An eye mask, cozy socks, so cute. A toothbrush, gotta keep the hygiene. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, so then there's a mini pen, a lip balm, a lotion, and a toothpaste. Everything you need on this flight. And then we also got a water bottle, and we also have a screen. This is our home for the next seven hours. Looks pretty comfy. I also love that everything is so tucked away. The cup holder's tucked away. The headphones are tucked away. You plug them in in there. We just got given our menus. We have drinks. Normally my feet dangle. This little foot line makes it so I don't look like because I'm so short. For your safety, make sure your carry on luggage is stowed before taxi take off and landing. We are officially in the air and they are handing out wine, I think. All right, I'm gonna try the dinner. I got the cauliflower and every dinner comes with a mango salad and crab and avocado, I think it is. 
and also a little warm bun and some Gouda cheese, very Dutch. And it also comes with the cutest little salt and pepper shaker that is salt and pepper all in one. I'm trying. It's not the most flavorful cauliflower dish I've ever tried, but it does have a nice flavor to it. It also has some sweet potato I forgot to mention. It's okay as well. I think I like the cauliflower better than the sweet potato. The kale's actually pretty good. Okay, and I should have started with the mango salad, but I'm gonna end with the mango salad. Let's try it. The mango salad might be my favorite part of the whole thing, which is so surprising. I guess let me try the bun too. It has olives. Not for me. I'm gonna give the mango salad an 8 out of 10. The cauliflower, a 7 out of 10. And the roll, for me, a 3 out of 10 is because of the olives. Yep, the mango avocado crab salad was so delicious. It was my favorite bite. And to have a meal this big, this high up, is just so luxurious feeling. I must admit. I'm gonna try to get some sleep tonight, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I can't believe there's only four and a half hours left of the flight. Like, it's already flying by, literally. They're handing out this lovely breakfast, but my body does not know what time it is right now, so I don't know how hungry I'm gonna be. All right, we made it to the Netherlands right here. We didn't really get any sleep on that flight, but see, I can't even think right now. It's about midnight Canada time, so to my body, it's midnight. We just have to make it through customs, and then we'll have the rest of the day here before we head on to Madrid tonight, and I wasn't feeling the best on that flight. I think it was a mix of just anxiousness and some of the wine that I had. But now that I'm off, I'm feeling like I can take a full deep breath again, feeling a lot better. So. Also, one of the best parts of that flight was getting to speak Dutch again. I like, we obviously don't speak a lot of Dutch, but we did pick up some. I always kind of joke like customer service Dutch, and we really threw it out of the plane. People loved it. People were loving it, Even and I loved it. Our flight attendant in our section literally said, in Dutch, you don't speak a little Dutch, you speak a lot of Dutch. She French. spoke Dutch to us the entire time, which I also appreciate because Dutch people are so good at English. Yeah. Often when it's like, obviously their English is much better than my Dutch. So it was really fun for me to get to practice. And another thing I love about KLM is that they have Dutch movies with English subtitles, which is actually really hard to find. Or for, from my experience, if you guys know some, fun. It eased us in perfectly to this mm -hmm. trip. I'm it so excited nice to, to be back. <laughs> Making a quick pit stop on the way to customs because I do not feel good at all. That was an unexpected but necessary stop. I think you get the idea. All of our bags came out right together. This is so cute. And they were ready to go because Jonathan was checking. We're back. Oh my God, something's never changed. This is iconic. A toothbrush. toothbrush. Gotta keep, Gotta the, keep hygiene. the hygiene. We headed out into Amsterdam for an extended layover. We'll be back to the Netherlands in a few weeks, but it was so amazing to be back in this city for the first time since living there. We saw signs for the Panorama Terrace, and it turns out this is it. We just said goodbye to Jamin for the next week. He's off to Edinburgh, and we have a few more hours to kill before we head to Madrid this afternoon, this evening. And we're so tired at this point, so we're just holding in there, but we're trying so hard to stay up so we don't get too jet lagged. At this point, I've been up for about 26, almost 27 hours. I've just been working on stuff. We have a few more hours till we board our final flight tonight. And I've just been working on stuff to keep my mind busy and keep myself awake. Honestly, this place was a bit of a hidden gem in the Schiphol Airport, the Panorama Lounge. A bit of a I'm hidden gem. for my life, everyone. Our economy flight tonight is on Iberia, which I also have never flown before. So that's pretty cool that both of these flights I've never flown. First thing we noticed about the budget is this hallway is far. They put baby in a corner. They put baby Iberia in a corner. <laughs> we just made it through security for our final flight and we're onto the gate. So we've been up for about 27 hours at this point. How do you feel? Um, delusional, my enemies are working overtime. I'm only getting through by the power of, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like I No thoughts, just vibes, no vibes, just <laughs> praying. And we pray that we make it to Madrid safely. The flight is late to board, but the Dutch people have decided that we are now boarding. 
The goal is not to fall asleep on this flight and to enjoy the comfort that economy class will bring us. I'm not focusing on enjoying it. I'm focusing on just staying away. There's going to be a bed at the end of this that I get to lay my head on and go to sleep. Hi, back at LA. Uh. Welcome to Madrid. I'm so happy to be here in our bodies right now. It's literally like 5 p.m. and we didn't sleep last night. That's how long we've been awake. But we're in the home stretch. We just this is get it. We've decided go we're gonna bed. Uber to the hostel just for ease and just so we can like get there as quick as possible. We're gonna get some snacks, get ourselves unpacked, and get to bed, baby. The vibes are delirious, but the airport in Madrid is super beautiful. The roof is really cool. A few friends back home had said the airport here is really cool and they were not wrong. We made it till 10.30, which is pretty dang good. Yeah, All we things tried considered. to eat something. And the body said, no, it's time to it sleep. It just was like, yeah. It was like, I think I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten that much today. But when I was starting to eat food, it was like, ugh. Absolutely and I not. was just getting tired already the second. So it's just time to go to bed. It's time to put the body to rest. Good night. We made it to our hostel. It's so cute and cozy. I can't wait to show you more and we're ready for the best sleep ever. These beds feel comfy and I'm ready, so. Both of our socials will be linked down below if you wanna keep following along with the journey and we'll see you in the next one. Good night.